Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to Designer Face Off, where two teams of four will go head to head on a two hour challenge. Each team will have a set list of deliverables to do for a single brief. Whichever team has the better design judged by their creativity, cohesion and quality wins. So for the brief, we have a car wash and barber company called Suds and Scissors. Our model is centered around car and hair enthusiasts where the clients can receive a car wash and detailing while also experience a premium cut from licensed barbers. We are in need of a logo, marketing materials, and a style guide to pass along to our internal design team. We are looking for a branding that combines the elements of both a barber shop and a car wash in a modern, fresh, and inviting way. Our customers are most likely to be young professionals, families, and car enthusiasts who appreciate a one-stop shop for all their grooming and car needs. So with that, let me introduce the teams. On the blue team, we have Bluebill as the captain, and alongside her will be Arashi, Ben Sparrow, and Frostify. And as for the red team, we have David as their team captain, and alongside him is Zach, Tyler, and Annie. Now that you guys are all informed, let's hop into the video and actually get this thing started. So, are our teams ready? Bluebell, David, Captains, are you guys feeling okay? I'm feeling amazing, man. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, Blue, you good? We good. Okay, so with that, three, two, one, voice crack, start designing, God damn it. Right, I guess we've got to get the biggest question out of the way. Who's, who would be the best at logos in here? Do any of us do logos no. <laughs> at all? Yeah. I've okay, done I, a I little, I'm... but it's definitely a weakness of mine. So I'm yeah, sure same. I, I don't mind taking it on, but yeah. <laughs> we can work on it together then. Um... I was going to say, before we get started, I feel like we should just like have a good environment. Be feel free to share ideas. Don't be afraid to say something that's stupid. And uh, yeah, let's let's get them. Let's get them. My first thought was like bubble letters because bubble with hair washing and bubbles with like car washing as well. I still think it's important that we keep somewhat of a friendly element. We don't want to be too off-putting. I feel like we could probably get away with a friendly color scheme and maybe like polished logo rather than the other way around. I, all I could think of was this view of Lightning right. McQueen from Cars. I, I was gonna say Lightning McQueen, yeah. And then I like I like <laughs> the idea of having like oh, having like it. a car. I, I don't I don't know why it's on. I think barbers or like barbershop logos. I always think like of the, the mustache for some reason, which is weird because oh, it's like hair. We could um, do a business card. I mean, that is like. Well, I could also thing. do some kind yeah. of animation of the logo mark if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be up. fire. For some reason, I wonder what the logo would look like if we used like the car wheels as scissor handles. You know how like scissor handles have like those. Oh, Ooh, that's fascinating. That's bit, what kind of like? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, that would be Ooh. so cool. Wait, it sounds crazy, but what if we did the wheel itself, the spokes, uh -huh. form a handlebar style mustache? Ooh. That's a good idea. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> okay. okay. That's, That's very, it's very interesting Damn. and crazy. What if we gave uh, a bubble a mustache? Okay. <laughs> I, that's kind of fun. No that. way. That's it's actually. Like, I like the idea of like personifying, personifying like water in some way too. That that's really smart. So I was thinking of going for like a race font because they're kind of stylish yeah. but also professional. But I just like how they have a lot of stylistic kind of attributes to them. Kind of like these little dashes hanging off letters, stuff like that. I feel like Red Surf does work really well for the serious side of things. Yeah, the like serious I, I already, side of things we definitely. Yeah. I already love this. The way it just. This typeface looks. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this one font right now, and like someone made like their pair of scissors into like a racetrack almost. So if you're thinking I like maybe turn the scissors into like a little road, and maybe we can get like a mock of a car for like an overview. Okay, yeah, wait. What if we did a dripping text, Annie? <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Because like the soap and the suds. See, that's a great. Yes. I love that idea, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. God, this is so difficult. Not only like. Just even if you have one you like, having to come up with another idea just to do it in 30 minutes this is absurd. I'm like panicking right now. This is me too. Me too. <laughs> you, you're doing I great. Don't like, I don't like it. I, th I think awesome. after after this part will be fine. All right, the time is up. Let's go actually and look at blue team's ideas and see which one we're actually going to choose and then move forward with. For the first concept, we've got this scissors based concept. So here we have a scissors with car tires in the handles. This is sort of a flexible concept that's based on these minimal lines. Our second concept, more fun, more friendly. We've got this car here with a mustache. 
Um, this is supposed to lean more into the sort of the silly aspect, the tongue in cheek aspect that keeps it friendly. Constant number one, in my opinion, or constant number two, excuse me, my opinion, the more friendly, playful idea. I think the playfulness of it would have to still come off as, I don't want to say masculine, but still branded somehow. It feels too obvious. The sketch is definitely lacking in personality. I would maybe even lean more towards retro. You can pull off a playful style that still appeals to like a masculine audience by making it seem as if it's not taking itself too seriously or if it's like vintage. Let's say if the car isn't even there, that's a pretty strong, in my opinion, like idea for like a, a haircut barbershop place, right? But how can we mention car without actually putting a car? And if we do put a car, how do we make it the car itself maybe look more, I don't want to say mascot like, but more playful like, but yes, consider that concept as a good start but absolutely needs to be still tweaked to get it to that point where we can actually ship it and create a brand around it. Yo, David, team leader, can we get you to share your screen and please walk through the two concepts you guys have? This is the first one. It's more uh, official, more regal, prestige. We're going for like a more masculine look here. We're looking through um, different higher end barbershops here. And I feel like that's the, the audience here as we're dealing with people who want to wash their cars at the same time as uh, get their hair done. Uh, which is very, very bougie. The second idea that we kind of have going, me and Annie, it's more of a playful idea that can be presented to like a bigger audience, I guess. The main idea right now is to have the suds text be like bubbly, have like bright like bubbles on it, maybe dripping a little bit with quote unquote suds coming off of the actual text. When I'm looking at the first concept you guys showed, it speaks to me almost more as like a biker gang. But I think for concept two, there are some strengths and weaknesses. The logo concept it, it can look like that but right now is and it doesn't really have that like cool factor. Option number two is very much so impressionate to me. I feel like I haven't seen it as lively and, and, and cool as I, I would if I were to walk into a store. I feel like if I see a barbershop with the idea and move board option number two, I'm gonna be like, that place looks freaking dope. I can get involved with that and feel like I wanna be a membership in over there. And number one just feels like a safe barbershop option. So in my opinion, George, option number two, what are you saying? I am also leaning towards option number two. Definitely lean towards streetwear, influence, anime, 90s aesthetic influence with that red team david you guys are going to be going with option number two you guys have one hour and 30 minutes and uh yeah good luck so i think i think minute. now is when we should divvy up what what people are going to be working on so i don't mind taking on the logo if no one else wants to i have I done logos so before much, but i'm not i'm not amazing at logos but i'll i'll do i'll do my best arashi and frost i'd like you two to work together on all the socials is that okay yeah absolutely <laughs> all absolutely. right we got this let's do this arashi because i saw like this one we can probably do something with like a uh, the display font of like something more bubbly and then we could do like a, a serif for like scissors because scissors is more like great um, guys, do we think this is a good final color palette, Discord? Yes, I like that a lot. I don't want to just do like a kind of boring typical layout, but there is kind of a retro sheen on it. I think it'd be cool if the layout was sort of retro as well. So if you want to look up inspiration and send those, I think we could agree on a style and then y'all can just set off. I already found something right off the rip that is really dragging my eye right now. Holy. I think we definitely go more yeah, the 90s though, like the Japan-esque like streetwear vibe. I have a mock-up that we could use for a car wrap itself. Also, are we doing a word mark or just a logo mark? I'm going to try and do just a logo mark because honestly, putting words on logos is pretty difficult. <laughs> oh, the one on the, where it says festival. Music this one? Tonight. Yes. Yeah. Will we like do the reverse of that? That is exactly that what we need to do. I know they were saying do it without a car, but because um, we're going with now decide on the more vintage style, I'm just going to have like a kind of like muscle car on there and uh, an angle rather than just straight head on. Having like a haircut on top of it like it really like flowy hair kind of flowing honestly and i don't think you need to worry about the ampersand i'm not gonna lie i feel like if they don't like it and that we take points off of it i'll take the the blame i'm gonna make the executive choice right now to say goodbye to the ampersand what if we did a instead of a business card a club membership card <gasps> Ooh, that'd be unique i like that ross is what kind of going so far yeah i like uh -huh. the stripes do you think you could uh shoot me over that asset is this giving I don't know why I just said that. For a second, I was like, what? And I was like, oh. <laughs> what is it giving? So I saw this on another like Pinterest uh, like post here, but like using maybe like quote unquote tire tracks and the texture in the back. I think that could work. What do we think of this uh, concept so far, guys? Like this overall kind of Let me look. see. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm liking that. I feel like what, oh, dude, like some doodles would be so nice over this. I can't doodle though. Uh, if you send it to me, I can try my best to doodle. Maybe we should yes. steer away from the circular, like kind of stripes you have in your graphic and just do something more like simplistic like this. I don't know. I'm thinking of how the logo would look scaled down in the profile picture and it doesn't seem that legible. All right, what if you took just... the first S, right? I was going to say you the exact took same the back thing. S, put it together, make the back Ooh. S black, then that way it matches the, the scissors down S. below and then you still have the elements of the make bubbles the and stuff around it. So in that way Perfect. it doubles up. Frost, you haven't pick a, do you haven't picked a texture yet, have you? No, nah, I'm experimenting with that right now. Okay, let me know what you have. I'm going to use that on my card. Okay, I'm going to have to abstract this a lot because I'm a little bit stressed on time because I want to do the animation. See what happens with the over. <laughs> oh God. Ooh, I kind of like that pink. I don't know, it reminds me of like bubble gum. Like right here? Like that. Wait, this yeah. is, something's here. Kinda, Wait, hold on. Yeah, I kind of dig the, cause it has the yellow that I forgot that we needed to use. <laughs> we didn't need to use it, but Ooh, that was this... part of our- Yeah, let me add it yeah. under the textures too. But one of the words fits so nicely around the logo and then the other one just doesn't. This makes me remember why I never do logos. Yeah, the pink's kind of out there. We could also just, you know, just add it, add it into the palette. You know what I mean? Like, just, uh, we haven't even launched the business. We're already rebranding. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great joke. I still don't like the text. I'm thinking about the text. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, this is why I've already got this. Maybe, I don't think maybe, I think maybe we don't need the text. Bro, I'm losing track of my masks. Oh God, this is, this is my tip for anybody watching the video. Label your layers. It's a waste of time. The client doesn't pay for label layers. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. God. <laughs> <laughs> what do we What do we think about this gang? Just have the car peeking out from the right. It doesn't have to be all there. Yeah, like use it more as like an asset as opposed to sticking the logo on it. Like just make it really. Can big. I get a, Can I get opinions on the logo? Make it the SNS a little smaller, just so it's not touching the edges of the. All oh, right. The badge, I think something. Yeah. Our best bet might, because like here's the thing about the badge, right? It's very bounding. Like if that. We just, yeah. If yes. we could literally just have the logo itself, that might be a vibe. Oh God, guys. Oh no. Look, you know what? You made some others. It's okay. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, we, we have, have backup. Look. We have the technology. We got this. We have the technology. Oh, okay. <gasps> it's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe it fixed itself. Time is officially up. They now have the focus on their style guides and let's see what that brings us. Just so you guys know, 30 minutes for your style guides. Try not to change too much of your designs overall, but yeah, just package it all up for us, okay? Yes, daddy. Oh, say less. Hey, yo. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. oh hey, yo. Hey, hey, cut that out. Hey, say cut that out. less. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I've made a lot of style guides in the past, so I could take a crack at it if you guys want, but. All right. I think we can, we also need to write basically as well. I can, I'm pretty good at writing, so I don't mind doing that. Zach, you wanted to put everything together, right? Or Yeah, I mean, I can. Because I had InDesign open, so I didn't know if I should start like making. I'm going to be honest with you. I use Photoshop to make decks and it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do we want to go to the extent of showing uh, social mock-ups? Because I could easily throw something into Figma real we quick should. just to see what it I would look like should. on socials. All right, I'll do that. Do you want me to make the actual, like, style guide then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I vote, Ben. You know how, like, stream graphics are all different in a sense? Like, each page has a yeah. different, like, version of the color scheme. Mm -hmm. I think we should probably go with something like that. We need a mock-up of a, of a shop. Okay, wait, Zach, I'm, we're going to need specifics on like fonts, font size and the style guide. So it's just like that stuff. So maybe I could work with you on that. And then Annie, you could look for mock-ups. We do have an official slogan, right? There's a bunch on the dock. I don't, I haven't picked one for like the official, official one. If you want to look at those. I, I vote we do the second one. One stop shop for your car mod. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to lay it. How do I lay this out? I have a black, I have a white illustrator file in front of me. I don't know how to, oh God, this is going to be one of the most rough slides I've ever made in my life. Like I normally commentate, I'm just like so focused right now. I yeah, no, I'm I'm just so stressed. Do you mind if I throw a little contrast onto the grand opening graphics when I add them into the drive? No, of course not. Go for it. Okay, this is the most scuffed presentation I've ever put together in my life, but we don't have much time, so it is what it is. Do we need backgrounds created for the style guide? Because I could do that real quick. Uh, it would be nice, yeah, it'd be a nice touch if, we, if we've got like a spare hand to do that. Anybody need help with anything? Can I jump in anywhere? I am jobless. I can just like art direct for a little bit, just checking on everybody, I guess. Uh, I just noticed that on the loyalty card, we don't have the pale coloring for inside the card that have been in colored. Yeah, 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 100%. Whew, got it, gang. Jesus. No problem. We uh, we cut it close. I'm not going to lie. Well, that means we used our time effectively. 
because we used every single every single minute. All right, there we go. How is the style guide looking? Do are we okay? I mean, yeah, it's just it's just kind of assets on pages, but it's fine because we can talk about it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We good. Never doing this again. <laughs> yeah, never signing up for a Cesar video again. All right, yo guys, Bluebell, David, what did you guys feel like? I'm gonna start with Bluebell. How did you guys feel? How do you feel? Excuse me, your team did. Our team, I think we did great. Everyone worked together so well and the ideas just flowed together. We spent so long brainstorming and putting things together, but I think it worked out really well. David, what about you guys? I just want to say I could not have picked a better team. We, in every, every single way and facet, we just clicked together. We were sliding files to each other like it was butter. Like we were just like saucing it up. I feel like we also had like a very similar design vision. And I think we did an amazing job. I'm very, very proud of my team. And you know, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? Just a little I'll pat say, on the back. say less. Now, let me just give everyone literally a pat on the back. Because for, for one, the brands that you're about to see right now were done in two hours when usually this would take three to five, six, seven weeks. David, if you don't mind showcasing your actual project along with uh, everyone in the call, we're going to all see it for the first time together. Welcome to Suds and Scissors. So we took the uh, streetwear, but more fun, playful tip that George gave us. And we came up with this logo, Mark. I wanted to bring in a playfulness with the suds because I feel like there was more imagery that can go off of it, along with adding a slightly more serious sans serif font for the scissors and I wanted to add a little bit more detailing and graphic just to bring it all together. Yeah, so for the branding, for the social posts, we definitely want to keep the streetwear vibe, some Y2K color. The layout designs very well to open your face. You kind of know what you're getting into. It's still playful. And then moving down here, we have the social assets. So those same assets that you saw before, but restructured. Here you can see a miniature version of the logo mark with those uh, two S's, the bubbly S and the bottom right S. You know, a lot of the times you see in traditional racing stuff, like that they have these you know weird one-off sponsors kind of thing so a car wash barbershop kind of place for a car wrap and everything for it seemed to seem to fit really well we have it mocked up on a business card here and then we have a storefront what the storefront would start to look like and he did a great job of mocking this up keeping that playfulness throughout the each panel of the window we have a little bit of a breathing animation gif of the suds and scissors logo and then secondary here is a little bit of a smaller animation just keeping those uh parts playful and keeping that bubbly nature to the suds and scissors mark uh keeping it alive here amazing can we just get a clap? Can everyone clap? You know, that was, that was really good. It was a collaborative experience. You guys all did great. Next up would be Bluebell's team on the blue team. Uh, rather than modern, our team focused on retro. We wanted the kind of things that we felt were kind of all American to be comforting. So we leaned hard on retro warm colors. We've gone with some very retro elements. So here we can see a poster, header, Twitter post. These are all supposed to be part of our idea of what would it be like if a family institution opened up in your town? We've also had loyalty cards for our extra deliverable. The idea that someone can come back here and come back here every week, they can come back here every month, and there'll be something there for them. Still, we're still a modern institution. This is not actually the 1970s, so we have our social mock-ups here. You can see our Instagram and Twitter. Ben, would you like to talk a bit about our styling for the logo? We decided to go with like a vintage kind of retro muscle kind of car, and then we put the, the moustache on the front as well, because whenever I think of like barber logos and stuff, I always think of that, that the kind of moustache that you see on the front of the car here, and then we've got the kind of long, kind of luscious hair kind of flowing yeah we bit. wanted the illustration style to fit this kind of vintage zeitgeist i suppose of americana so you can also see that in our colors they're very you know blue white red they also call back to the barbershop pole i'd also like to call out that in contrast to the logo most of our shapes are quite chunky so we've picked rowdy's bold as our header font it's big it's bold it's friendly and we've picked a grotesque font for our subheader just for that extra readability can we get another Clap! Woo! You know, let's, go. let's go, let's go, guys! Let's go. Amazing, George. All right, brother. It is time to now criticize, critique, scrutiny. I'm trying to figure out big words. Let's go ahead and start off with the red team. That is David's team. I did appreciate the overall idea of like making it feel more club-like, making it feel very young in that sense, having this cool bolded bubbly font for the word suds for like the shampoo aspect of it and the scissory more like sans serif font for that more general professional theme. The overall social graphics themselves, I had a bit of an iffy feeling about the blues being used. I had like a light blue on the mascot, dark blue here, another different kind of blue over there. I, f I wish personally that
that blue kind of stuck to that same overall theme. That's a very nitpicky thing. But if I'm being completely genuinely honest, this the logo is great in my opinion, but there is a bit of like technical issues. I guess the only fact that I can only say is there's no and symbol or the word and. So it's not really suds and scissors. It's suds, scissors. You gave some really great points. I'm in agreement with you about leaving out the ampersand or the and. Their original variation looked very childish. And that was one of the biggest pieces of feedback that I had for them was find a way to make this fit the target audience a little bit more. And I think they followed through with that direction. To me, the social graphics, I think they feel cohesive enough. Really great deliverables, they feel intentional. Overall, I'm really surprised with what they were able to come up with in such a short time. I mean, speaking on that too, I think the blue team had a pretty strong concept as well. If we take a look over here, I'm gonna immediately comment on the logo on this guy though. I, I do think, Ben, he tried to pat himself, you know, guard himself with the idea of not being a logo designer, but I do think our initial concern with the logo itself was that the overall car and the overall feel felt a little bit too generic. It didn't have the character that I think that they're trying to portray with putting a mustache and hair on a vehicle. Let's talk about the graphics themselves. You cannot argue the fact that these are very, very nice and cohesive. I think I the color scheme is also really works very well. I love their typeface choices personally. It does feel a little more mature, although our audience was going for more younger feel, but I do think the typeface, the overall iconography almost allows for a nice good balance in my opinion. Now the loyalty cards for the mock-up is a sick idea. I mean, that would That'd be the first thing I'm gonna put on my checklist when I'm like opening this business up. To be honest, there's there's not much fault on this, this project here as well, but I'm curious what you think. So I mentioned that the original concept was very symmetrical. It felt a little bit boring. I realized they took that into account by angling the vehicle, but I think the more important critique was not so much the symmetry, but the fact that the logo was lacking in personality. It didn't really have an abstract characteristic to it. The design style, like you said, is very cohesive. I I think their pitch made the design a lot stronger because to me it made sense what they were trying to achieve. Like you said, it's it's a very solid project for the design aesthetic that they were intending for. I mean, this this is a tough matchup. The fact that these people were able to produce some amazing, amazing designs and projects from both sides in two hours, that's a feat that you can't go unnoticed. I mean, these guys did a really good job, but the winner itself, I mean, it's probably gonna be Okay, so after me and George's 25 minute deliberation, apologies for the time, uh, it was actually genuinely really close in our opinions. We had, there was just so many strong suits for both of these projects. I mean, guys, like you guys genuinely did an amazing job. So for the record, the points you can get at maximum is 60. Now with that though, the overall total that you can get is 120, right? F math, yes. 60 per Wait, judge. Oh, 60 okay. per judge. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Per judge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay. So we scored it ourselves and we put the total Score, scores put them together. together. George, you get the PayPal? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> With a score line of 84 to 96, the no winner way. of the first episode of Designer Face Off is. The red team. David, let's, let's go! go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. You guys, let's you guys go. did genuinely really GGs. freaking well. And I just want to comment first on Bluebells. I we honestly genuinely believe your concept. I believe me and George both actually scored your cohesiveness higher. Um, there was yeah. just a beautiful look to your actual color scheme, your typefaces. All that good stuff. I would say what it where you kind of lost points is probably where well, probably where the logo was. We're not gonna blame anyone yep. in particular. <laughs> However, that's where we I'll just felt that, that we took some points away in that sense, and it kind of of course bumped you guys down a little bit, but not just because of that only, but the quality overall, the quality control was very well. But there's just these issues of like placing of different materials, and we have to be super meticulous and like very much so painfully, like just just honest with ourselves on the other side red team guys yeah. we got we got we just think you guys just had a really dope look i think you guys solidified the idea of like this really cool club culture where you're like when you buy into sub scissors uh well, well first of one thing it's sub and scissors guys where's the and sub okay in the wait, logo? Wait, 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 wait wait hold on hold on let me, let me explain let me explain i will take complete blame i didn't like the way it looked and i made the executive choice to remove the and so that is my fault i will take the blame do not blame my team please uh, so, uh, hey that's a that's a good leader that's all i'll say and, but... and reference one of the bubbles could be the, the little marsh yeah right? exactly
I'm not gonna let that slide. Anyway, besides that, no, you guys did a great job. Hey, with that being said, though, I appreciate you guys watching. Of course, again, shout out to everyone who joined the video, and also all the links in the description down below for all their stuff, all their socials, post. What is it? Portfolios, all that good stuff. Anyway, so that's HQ out. You're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Made a little much love. Peace. Also, don't forget to check out George Noack for being just George. That's all.